Hi, my name is Cheryl and I am a very late diagnosed autistic person. Uh, before you ask the question, I will answer it. Yes, I do know that I have a patch on my eye. I have an eye infection. And, um, you know, whenever anything like this, something interesting and different happens to me, I have to run and look it up and see if there's any kind of correlation to autism because you just never know. And in this case, uh, as it turns out, no, <laughs> there is no correlation. Um, what I have is a sty and I, it got really infected. So I had to go to the doctor and get antibiotics and stuff. But in the meantime, uh, I did find out some really interesting information about the correlation between three eye conditions and autism. Um, I did write notes, but I can't read them. So I'm doing this all by memory. Number one is strabismus. Um, I love YouTube videos because th th they can be longer and uh, I can tell stories. But strabismus is when your eyes turn in. Now, I think I shared with you once um, that one of my children was diagnosed with Asperger's way back when it was a thing. And I remember we were all sitting around the table, myself and my three children, and uh, we were coloring. And my, <laughs> my son looked down and he was coloring. And when he looked up, his eyes were both turned in and I said, oh my goodness. And uh, later on, he was the one that got diagnosed. So. I think that that's just kind of interesting. You know, when you learn new information and then you look in the past and you're like, oh my gosh, there's a correlation there. Number two is farsightedness and um, astigmatism. So I always had farsightedness, um, which means you can see far, but not close up. My daughter uh, is very farsighted. And, and her story is that when she was three years old, she would go around and she would point at things and she would call all these little things a bug. Only she said budge. It was so cute. She'd say budge, budge. I'd say, no, that's not a bug. So I thought, well, since my son needed glasses, I figured I would take her in. And sure enough, um, very, very farsighted. So when she put her glasses on, her eyes looked huge. She didn't even look like the same child and um, when we got in the car to go home after we got her glasses she said mommy I can see which broke my heart um, but also a funny little story is she was in her car seat in the back seat and I gave her a banana as a snack and and she says I don't like it and I said why not and she said there's black things she was noticing the seats for the first time because she could finally see and I said well go ahead and just take your glasses off so she took the glasses off and then she ate the banana. That's kind of a funny story in our family. And number three is migraine headaches. Now, I know headaches are in your head. However, I looked up um, the causes of migraines and this is going to make so much sense. Um, loud sounds, strong smells, all these sensory things can cause migraine headaches along with hormones, stress. I mean, it only makes sense that people with autism get migraines, but I don't personally get migraines. I get ocular migraines. So I'm going to put something here so you can kind of see what that looks like. Uh, the first time it happened scared the crud out of me. Um, because I'd had a friend who had a retina detached and I thought, oh, please, Lord, I don't want to have that. But that's what it turned out to be, ocular migraines. And so when I looked at the cause of ocular migraines, it said they're caused by the same things that cause regular migraine. And then the other question is, does everyone who gets migraines, uh, does everyone have autism? No, that would be a no. So anyway, I hope you found this interesting. I know I did. And um, give me some feedback. I mean, do you have eye issues? Because, I mean, from this research, it looks like up to 48% of people have um, farsightedness or astigmatism. About 40% have uh, strabismus. And a far higher population of people with ASD have migraines, uh, about 30% more than the general public. So I thought that was pretty interesting and I wanted to share it with you. Hope you all are having a great day and I will talk to you soon.